Hello everyone, and welcome to the magical and mysterious world of Doomacorn siblings. Today I want to talk about a specific finish of polish that I really like to collect in my nail polish collection. Finishes I collect may become a series on this channel just talking about different finishes that I really really like of nail polishes and tend to collect. I had to pull out the magical silver gloss for today's topic. We're talking about Doomacorn siblings. Now, Doomacorn siblings may or may not be a loose term because most of these are not actually bees knees lacquer, which is where Doomacorn and those siblings came from. However, these polishes all do have that similar pink to green to gold to like blue, really like rainbowy shift. These are all of my rainbow shifties, including all the true Doomacorn siblings. The silver gloss may have been a bad idea. I think it makes my teeth look blue. What do you think? Do you dig the silver gloss or not? I think I don't like it very much, but I had to do something really different and fun because the Doomacorn siblings are definitely one of my favorite things in my collection and they're so fun and different. They are very magical and very color shifty. So let's take a look. These all have that like blue to ocean green really glowy type of shimmer in there. These shimmers are known to shift to blue and pink in the right lightings as well, but I will try to show you my best in this bright lighting what they look like. This first one is super glowy. This is M&N's OBX, which is definitely a really pretty oceanic blue, really deep, really vibrant, such a gorgeous polish. And it is seen here in two coats right next to it. We have a Great Lakes lacquer. This one is Amy by Great Lakes, another really beautiful shifty blue one. This is definitely the first of these blues that I had in my collection. Definitely a really pretty one and that oceanic green shift really just looks so beautiful in a blue base. Definitely very aquatic. This next one is Hydrokinesis by Phoenix. This is seen here in three coats and this one has a little bit deeper of a base. It's kind of a mid-tone or blue-toned purple. Really, really beautiful. I love the way this one looks. It almost looks like a darker blue around the edges. The way that that darker purple base works, it just really gives a super deep glow. This next one is a blue Doomacorn sibling. It does still look kind of purple, but I really love this one and I sent for this one. I actually had this one come all the way from Canada because it sold out here. This one is seen here in three coats and this one is called Tell Them to F Off. So yeah, really fun one and I had to have it. This next one certainly is beautiful, but I think I'm actually going to be de-stashing this one. This one is Bees Knees Lacquer, Love is the Most Powerful Magic, and boy is it. But this polish is very, very sheer and it took six coats to build up. I feel like this is more of a polish that would be better for somebody who can really appreciate sheer polishes. Maybe it would be better over an undie, but I do have plenty in this range. I think I can get rid of this one. The next one is Love Hurts by Bees Knees Lacquer. Unfortunately, I like the last name better, but I like this polish more. This is a really nice purple toned polish with that pretty shimmer, and I just really love this one. I have worn this one and really enjoyed it. It is shown on the wheel in four coats. It is a semi sheer, but it does build up nicely. This next one is another one I may be de-stashing. This is Bees Knees Lacquer Customer Appreciation 2023. This is a much deeper, like more red toned, red leaning purple, but it's very deep. This one was a six coater on the wheel here. I do have a really similar or dupe polish of this polish that is less coats. So again, this one may be better for someone who enjoys that sheer. It does give a really pretty purple jelly look as a sheer. So yeah, really beautiful one, but I think I'm going to be de-stashing this one as well. This next one is a Penelope Loose Polish. This is a much deeper in the purple area, like in the base, out of all the ones that I have, this is the most true purple base to me or the one that shows up the most. This one is Funny Tree by Penelope Luz, and this one is definitely one of my favorites here. This one was only two coats. 
Next up is the polish that started it all. This is the one and only, the infamous, the Dumacorn polish. A beautiful purple base with that gorgeous shimmer. Now this one is a four coat polish, at least on the wheel here, but my gosh, that shimmer is what stole my heart. And every polish that I see with it, I have to ask myself, do I need this in my collection? Because I really do enjoy them all. And having all the tones is pretty nice. I am finding that I am willing to give up a few, but I do love having the whole rainbow in this finish. So the Dumacorn does hold a special place in my heart. I haven't worn this one yet, but I do really love it. Next up, I have Lumen's Glass Frog. Now the particles in this polish may be a little bit bigger than the rest of the other shimmers, but I feel like it gives very similar shifts. And this polish is interesting. It could be used as a topper or built up on its own. It is shown here in six coats on the wheel. These are very large wheels and they are translucent, so it takes a while to build up but this is supposed to be a very sheer polish this is one that i'm going to keep and kind of play around with i have a feeling it's going to be an awesome topper i just haven't gotten around to wearing it quite yet Next up, I do have another Bees Knees lacquer here. This one is called Better Than No Heart At All. And this is a beautiful, sweet baby lilac version of the Dumacorn. And boy, is it adorable. I do really like this polish, but I think I'm going to be de-stashing this one as well. It is seen here in five coats. It is a very sheer polish and it does take quite a bit to build up. I have worn it once before, but again, I think I will be getting rid of this one as well. Now let's jump into warm tones, starting with this pink. This one is Great Lakes Lacquer, The Village Chief. This one's definitely a really beautiful, smooth formula in two coats it covered, and it's just a very beautiful, like, bubblegum tone base. I really love this one. Next up, I have a zombie claw here. This one is Zombies Ate My Boobs, and this one is a three coat polish. This one does have a little bit of that larger particle shimmer. It may be similar to the Glass Frog here with that large particle version of the Aurora Shimmer that I love so much. This is a really beautiful polish and gosh, I love pink polishes anyway. This is just so cute with that larger version. I feel like these two are pretty close. They're showing like they're a little bit closer on camera than they are in real life. This one has a more softer beige undertone, whereas this one has a more hot pink undertone. But yeah, on camera, they're definitely reading super similarly. And of course, I have Unmade by Bees Knees Lacquer, the pink Dumacorn sibling. This is a cool toned pink. It is a very pretty color and I love the way it reads on the nail. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And the cool tone of the pink really complements that shimmer and pulls all of that forth super strongly. It is shown here in four coats. It is a more sheer formula, but I am willing to do the build up because this is an absolutely beautiful polish and it makes a gorgeous manicure. Next up, I have this super hot pink, nearing red. This is called Take My Trip Around the Sun by Lynn B Designs. This does have that shimmer in there. I feel like it is a little bit of a larger particle, but I feel like it is very sparse in this polish. It only gives a little bit of a glint, so it's not as strong as all the rest of the polishes here, but it is kind of a jelly formula that has a little hint of that Aurora shimmer throughout. This next one is also by Lynn B Designs. This one is called Bouncy Ballin, and I feel like it is very similar to this first one here by Lynn B. This one has a little bit deeper of a ready pink tone than this one. This one's a little more vibrant, and this one definitely has a lot more of that shimmer particle in there to look at and kind of have its little shift. So yeah, definitely like this one a lot more than this one. I think I may be de-stashing this one. The next one I have here is Bees Knees Lacquer Lava Mancy. This one definitely is like a fiery hot pink nearing orange, like really fiery, so, so bright. And it's got that gorgeous shimmer. I absolutely love this polish. The last three polishes, all three of these polishes, I had to build up in six friggin' coats. So these are all super sheer polishes, and these will probably be better, more used as a topper over a similar undercoat. 
absolutely crazy, but they are meant to be sheer. So this is my doing that I just want to have them opaque all the time. But yeah, I really love the way they look upon buildup. So it is worth it to me if I end up wearing it that way. This next one is a Great Lakes Slacker. This is summertime watermelon everything. This was the first pink or hot tone polish that I had in this type of finish with this beautiful shimmer. I absolutely fell in love with this polish last year after Polish and Beauty Expo. This was one of the first polishes I had to get on my hands and I absolutely loved it. This is also a perfectly opaque polish in two coats. So love the formula on this as well. This next one is a super hot fiery hot pink nearing orange. Absolutely stunning. This one is by Phoenix and this one is called she has a Pulitzer. This is from the Barbie collection. And oh my gosh, that pink is so hot and vibrant with that beautiful shimmer. This one is another one that was perfectly opaque in two coats. The last one on this wheel anyway is this Crate Lake Slacker polish called Should We Maybe Just Cook Him? This is from the Moana collection and this is a two coat formula. Absolutely stunning and one of the shiftiest polishes in my collection by far. My stepmom actually fell in love with this polish. So that's the big wheel. Let's take a look at the little wheel. The first one I have here is the True Orange, and this one is Only You Can Stop the Hero by Bees Knees Lacquer. I absolutely love this polish. It's like a cantaloupe tone, and of course it's got that perfect shimmer. You can see the pink in the sides of the polish here. Um, that is kind of how the shift works, is it has that bluish green but it has like a golden pink flip to it so it's very rainbowy and i'm glad it's kind of showing up on camera because it's hard to describe and sometimes my camera doesn't want to show it but it literally looks like a dragon scale with every little color going on and it's just so beautiful this one is shown in four coats along with the next one which is oracle base by phoenix it is a little bit of a lighter tone as far as the base goes it's a little bit more sheer not as opaque and i feel like the tone is a little bit lighter as well here they both are in the bottle so that you can see that for yourself here they are I just feel like you don't really see the base on this one as much and it almost looks like the next one which is a yellow base. This is Sassy Sauce LSD and you get a little bit less of that pink because you don't have that orange to bring it out. But this Sassy Sauce polish is one of my favorite toppers right now and it will turn any cream formula into this type of finish. So I've been having a blast with that and this is one of the polishes in my collection that's made it to where I'm not collecting every single polish I see with this shimmer because I know I can dupe it with this. So love this polish. It is built up here again in four coats just so you can see it on its own. Being that this next one is a super sheer yellow polish, this one does also have to build up in four coats, but gosh, it's so worth it. I did wear this and absolutely love it. This is Zombie Gloss Pineapple Juice. This was from a special advent. I happened to pick this up at Polish and Beauty Expo and was so glad to grab it because it is one of my favorite yellows in my collection right now, and I absolutely adore it. And I do actually have a brown sibling here. This is Phoenix Symphony. It does need to be mixed up a little bit, but you can see here that it does have a chocolatey brown base and it has gorgeous shimmer. The thing is with this one is it totally goes blue on my skin, which is kind of weird, but it's fine. It's still beautiful and I still really love it. But that is all of my Dumacorn siblings. Is there any finish in your collection that you happen to have a lot of or you tend to to collect. Mine definitely has to be the Dumacorn siblings. There are others in my collection, but I will save those for another Topic Tuesday. I would love to hear about your collection. Are there any finishes that you happen to want like every color of? Am I the only one? I did have fun with this week's video. I did go ahead and declutter or de-stash four of the polishes in my Dumacorn nail polish collection, but that's about it for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this Topic Tuesday video, and until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.